Hello everyone, this is me Arjit with a new video and in this video, we are going to talk about how you can send the image from your Raspberry Pi to Firebase. Okay, so what we are going to do in this video is we are going to attach a button with our Raspberry Pi and also we are going to attach Raspberry Pi camera with our Raspberry Pi. And then whenever we will press the button, the Raspberry Pi is going to take the image using the Raspberry Pi camera and will send the image to Firebase. And we are going to use Python in this project. Okay, so let's get started. Okay guys, so first let's talk about the connection. So in this video, it doesn't have uh, too much connection. So we have to just connect our button with 3.3 volt pin and another pin with the 10 bar GPO 15 or pin number 10 in the physical board. Okay, so one pin with 3.3 volt pin and another one with the uh, pin number 10 or GPO 15. This is all about the connect connection and we have to also connect the camera with the Raspberry Pi. Okay, there is nothing much. Now let's talk about the code. Now, uh, before you have to go to the code, we have to uh, like as we are sending the images to Firebase, we have to create a project in Firebase and take some credentials out there. So you just search Firebase in Google and click in the Firebase console. So after that, you will be landed here. So here you can create a new project or you can work on your existing project. So here I'm just going to create a new project. Okay. So let's say the name of the project is RPI image. Okay and uh, rpi image and now just continue okay again continue and here you can have to select account so you must have a google account to create a, a firebase project okay so now just creating the project and it will take some time Okay, now the project has been created, we can continue. So now we are uh, into the project. So now if you see, we have to go to storage here. Okay, and inside the storage, uh, we have to just uh, get started. And then we just will go next and next. And again, it is creating the default bucket. So again, it will, this step will take some time. So let's just wait. Okay, now the bucket has been created and our storage is ready. So now we need to change the rule. Okay, so there is one rule we need to change here. So, um, so here as you can see, it's written allow read and write if request auth knock equal to null. So it basically means that it need authentication if you want to read or write some data, but I don't want this. I want to make this thing simpler. So I will remove this part and on, it will be only written allow read write read comma write semicolon okay and after modifying this you just publish it and then we are good to go now we will go to the real time database so we can also uh, create a real time database here so you just go here and just create database now you can select the server and click next and here we have to select the test mode okay not a lock mode we have to select the test mode and that's why you don't need to change any rule here as we are selecting the test mode okay so it will create within few seconds and now it has been created and here we don't need to change anything now we can simply go to project overview and now here you can see certain get started by adding firebase to your app so we need to create a web app here so you click on the web okay and here you have to give a name to your web app so you just give a name like rpi image now you can give it any name you want there's just uh, so then you create the app, register the app, and then we are going to get the credentials. So here we are going to get the config files. So we have, these are the config files we want from here. So you just copy it and you have to make a note of it somewhere. So you just 
paste it somewhere okay so for future use so i am going to paste it here yeah so this is all about this side we don't need to do anything else in fireway so now we can just click and just continue to console and we are done with it okay now let's just get into the code now you can get the code by going to my github repository the link will be as always in the description so this is how the code looks like so if you see here we have uh, import in first four lines is all about the uh, for the button so here we have imported some gpo libraries and we have set the pin number 10 as gpo in and also if you see i have set the mode as gpo board that's mean i am using the physical pin numbers to represent a pin so here i am that's why i have written pin number 10 which is gpo 15 and is gpo in then i have just imported date time i have imported pi camera the sleep and os and finally the pyrbase which is most important pyrbase is the firebase library for python okay we have to install this libraries and i will show you how you can install that now this is the part firebase config where we have to like paste our config files so you just copy it and paste it here now firebase config is a dictionary so what you need to do you need to just uh as you know in dictionary keys they must be strings so you need to add inverted commas around them so you need to do this step this step is very important else it will be not a dictionary and you will get error okay so you need to just put this uh, inverted commas and then we will be good to go so now we have uh, we are good to go now and now if you see uh, after this what we have here is firebase uh, we have initialized the app uh, firebase using firebase config this config files then we have created the storage and the camera object using firebase and this spy camera Finally, is the infinite loop here. So why infinite loop? Because whenever we will press the button, it will detect it and it will going to take an image. That's it, infinite loop. Inside that loop, we have try and accept block. Why? Because if whenever we will like terminate the code, what will happen using control C. So the code will be terminated, but maybe the camera will be open in the background. Okay. So what will happen on the next time when we will try to open the camera, we will be unable to do so. That's why here, if we press control C, it's going to close the camera first and then it will be easier for us to run the code again okay so here then we are checking if the gpo input is high or not if it's high then we are printing pushed then we are creating a timestamp using a date time library timestamp means the current time and date i am going to use that timestamp as my image name so i have added dot jpeg with that then i am capturing the image using uh camera capture and finally here using storage this line storage child and put we are going to push the image in our firebase so here uh, this first name basically represents the name of the image in system and the second name uh, inside the put basically represents the uh, name uh, that will be stored in Firebase. So let's say we have an image called image1.jpg and in our system and then we want to whenever we will like push it in Firebase I want the name to be maybe fire1.jpg. So inside the child we will write like image1.jpg and inside the put we will write like uh, fire on the jpeg so basically it will rename that file and it will store it in firebase storage okay so this is all about this line is and this line will push your image to the firebase storage okay now after that we will print uh, image sent and then we'll remove that file because we don't want to waste our space in the rpi so you're also going to after sending the file we'll remove it from system finally we are giving it two seconds of sleep so after only two seconds we will be able to take another um image okay and then finally we have the accept block that's it that's all about the code and now i think we are ready to go to raspberry pi and run this code okay so you just i am using putty here uh but you can use any other software or maybe uh hdmi cable okay i have put some wrong username here sorry so i have to do it again okay so it's here goes my ip local ip and after that i have to put my username pi and the password by default which is raspberry now here we are inside our pi now let's go to our desktop as i'm going to save my code here now here we have to install two libraries the first one is pyrbase so pip install pyrbase pyrbase and uh, if you're using python 3 in that case you may have to write pi pip 3 install pyrbase i have both python 2 and 3 in my system so i'm writing pip 3 so i already have installed that so it will be say like a requirement satisfied now you need to install it and after that also you need to install uh you need to install the pi camera okay so pip install pi camera pip pre install pi camera and it will install up and after this we are done and 
like nowadays most of the Raspberry Kai comes with the GPU library but in your case if it's not installed you also have to install the GPU library so for that you can write apt-get install rpi.gpio okay but maybe it's already installing your system okay so now let's just create a file nano uh, let's say uh, firebase image the name of the file dot pi obviously and now we can simply copy the pile and paste here so we just copy the whole thing and in putty to paste just right click and it will be pasted okay now we can save it just press ctrl x then press y and finally enter now we have saved the file now we are ready to run it so python 3 and the name of the file file is image.py okay so it's running now we have to press the button and when we will press it it will take the image so let me press the button So here I have pressed the button as you can see press it, it says and it also have taken this image it has sent the image and the file also has been removed okay so now and as you can see the name of the image is a timestamp of current timestamp okay so now uh, let's just go to the firebase storage and check so you go here and just uh, go to storage and you will see one file will be added here so as you can see the file is added so you by clicking here you can preview it so as you can see it's quite blurry because uh, it's my hand here and it's quite blurry because it's in a dark place but here as you can see it's able to take the image so okay so let's try it again okay and see like so i have pressed it again and this time also as you can see it's a trace taken and image sent and finally moved so let's just go to the storage and just press refresh here and if you refresh you will going to get okay sometimes it automatically comes and sometimes you refresh it like most of the times you have to refresh it maybe and so you click here and you will be able to see the next image so as you can see so it's my like hand here okay and it's just working fine and let's just test it for the final time and then we were also going to see if the files are removed or not so let's just do it and uh, here i have did it again and uh, let's see so and as you can see it's removed also saying it's removed and sent so let's see if our third image has been successfully uh, received here um, and as you can see it's successfully received and as you can see it's the selling of my home so yeah it's working just fine no problem here so in this way we can uh, upload files in firebase and now if we just press control uh, C here uh, let me press ctrl C okay so as you can see I press ctrl C and uh, now the camera has been stopped and now if you press ctrl Z it will just terminate your code okay stop your code so at first you press ctrl C which will close your camera then you press ctrl Z and it will going to stop your code terminate your code okay and as you can see here those images are not there so if you see this uh, this images so these four images there are previous images mine but this if you check the names these three images we taken are not in the uh, desktop that means they have been deleted successfully so uh, it is working totally uh, fine okay so i think uh, this is all okay so in this way you can actually take image using your raspberry pi and python and not only raspberry pi you can in normal pc also you can do so but obviously pi camera will not be there so in this way you can do it and uh, also like uh, here i have just used a button but you may use a pir sensor or maybe ultrasonic sensor whenever it will detect someone it will take the image and push to firebase you can make this kind of application using this so i think this is it for this video guys thank you for watching it and uh, please hit the like button if you have liked this video and also subscribe to my channel because in future i am going to make this kind of videos more so thank you guys see you in the next video